Hello, everyone. It's Dayan here joining you today with Daria uh, next to me. We will be speaking about one uh, recent addition to our toolbar, namely the colorizer. The colorizer is a tool that would uh, help you split up or scrutinize your Revit model on the fly very easily by colorizing elements, objects, and what have you inside of your Revit model. It should dramatically speed up the process of creating scoping drawings, for example, and it's just like a beautiful, easy to use uh, addition to your growing tool set in, inside of Revit. We will try to split up this uh, video in two parts, just to keep it short. And without further ado, let, let me show you what you can do with uh, the colorizer right now inside of Revit. You will be finding it here under project. It is conceptually speaking, a split up in two parts, colorized by type, colorized view by type, and then colorized by value and filter by value. The first uh, part is what I'm quickly going to show and then leave the floor to Daria. So let me see what I can do. I'll pick walls and easily as that, now my walls are isolated with an applied color and it's just as easy as that. It's absolutely amazing. That is going to explain how this works in practice. Over to you. If you wonder if it's possible to add more categories to colorize, uh, it's as simple as going into the settings of this tool by holding shift button and clicking on the button. So here you have a bit more control about how exactly the overrides will look. You can choose between projection, line color, surface color, and cut line and pattern color. Click remember to remember the settings. And next you can select from a list of categories to add to the frequent categories list. And this is going to be appearing in your UI the next time that you're going to use it. So for example, if you find that you need more categories, such as railings, roofs, maybe stairs. You can choose to add them, and next time you run the tool, these categories will appear in the list. I need to mention that if you do change the type of one of the elements, the color of that element will not update. So for example, if you change the type of this wall to something else, it will still maintain the color. In which case, you can reset the overrides and run this tool again. If you don't want to recreate the same, the same view, you can continue and colorize the elements in the current view. And click walls, and this will update, reshuffling the colors. It's intended to work this way, to not contaminate your clean, standardized project with too many filters. Yes, it can be very handy when you're working, for example, on a set of drawings that were um, set by somebody else and they used the bad strategy of uh, overriding the appearance of the elements by element. Uh, so you can use the reset overrides to clear all the by element overrides in that view. This Great. will also work in plans, sections, and any other view. Another tool in this set is uh, colorized by value, which has a little bit more options on the principles that you want to colorize your um, elements by. This tool gives you a selection of parameters that you can use um, to colorize your elements. And these are not limited to the parameters that can appear in filters and include a very, very long and interesting list of uh, parameters such as location line or top constraint. Uh, for example, if you want to update the thickness of the walls in your project and you want to thicken them, but you want to make sure that the location line of all of the external walls is set to external face, you can check uh, that all the walls um, respect this rule by selecting the location line as a parameter and this will highlight the walls that have a different location line settings. 
So this is the end of uh, this part. Um, please check out the next video, which will showcase how to use colorizers to create filters based on parameters value.